What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, Force 4 is here, you gotta make sure you do a few things, I kinda hate how they do this little thing every single time, it's like, oh, you gotta click everywhere, you gotta do everything, uh, it's kind of annoying, but one of the most important things here is, uh, I guess setting up a team is kind of important, but making sure you're claiming your Earth Vein stuff and upgrading it as fast as possible, probably the two biggest things uh, you kinda wanna do on day one of your out here so we're going to activate that we got that going uh there's also the watchtower these you can do any time during the day of course but the one thing you guys know i love the most about this game mode oh wait <gasps> there's no more timer this is amazing i used to get triggered by the one minute timer between searches it was so annoying and now it looks like we don't have to do it but day one we have the boss here uh we got 24 attempts so we're going to try to push this as far as possible with our squad. Now, this is the first time we're actually going to be doing this. Um, I think we can do all these nodes, right? Yeah, all these are good. This is the first time we're doing it with our new hero here. And so we can basically run like a full warrior setup. Um, although, hold on, wait a minute. We have to actually do something else before we do any of that. I just remember we have to switch around our houses one more time because we're done with Star Expedition, so we do not need Freya here anymore. We need to go back to you. We need to get your stuff all set back up. I think everybody is set now. <laughs> I say now. Uh, but we also have to change a couple of things around. We do need to go back to another melodic string setup. Who ended up with our other melodic strings? Good lord, man. Uh, both of you guys are good. You need to go to, I guess we'll go with a fan. You need to do with something else, like uh, Ruby Scepter sounds pretty good. I like it. Definitely need to change some of these imprints up, though, because they are not quite right. Uh, and then also with our Doom Terminator Vulcan, we just need him all out offensive. Cool. Mockman, all out offensive. We can even go back to this. Yeah, looks good. Well, actually, we don't need damage reduction. Vision. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Uh, let's just see. Uh, I'm hoping we kind of get this right. Supposedly, there are some other tweaks gone in uh, to this as well. Lair Expedition, there's more Lair Expedition battles up to five times this time. And then supposedly there's supposed to be some reworks here. And I don't know exactly what they are. All members of the TV Force will automatically turn into Wanderers. Wanderers have their Force on strongholds like every other one. Force War will end earlier if the only the Wanderers are left. Yes, yeah, I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing or not, but... We'll find out. So let's throw our squad in here now that it definitely is correct. We're going to throw this team in. We're going to go with that. And I guess we go with uh, his core. These are going to be some easy battles to start with because we should be able to get up to like the 900 uh, point mark. Wow. The, uh, <laughs> the queen counterattacks are almost enough to kill them with our two really strong heroes. Let's make sure we got the right order on these as well. Oh, yeah, this is the one where we actually want to put our DTV in the front row. That's right. The reality, what we want to do, uh, we want to do this so we can have two heroes in the front row. And we just want to continue raising all of these up as high as possible, as fast as possible. So, yeah, something like that. We kind of need to high roll and not have our Star Swordsman Mockman get CC'd, or rather get that fear effect from the Aspen, like this one right here. That was perfect. That way they can both do some really big damage. And we want Star Swordsman Mockman going before our Vulcan. Ultimately, our, Mach or our Vulcan not getting CC'd would be great, but uh, we get a victory anyway. This is the tedious part, though. You just got to keep leveling up all these nodes so that you can kind of do whatever you want and get the maximum number of points. These should not be very difficult for us, and then we'll be able to see where we rank among all the teams. You kind of want to try to do this right at reset, though, to make sure you're getting the most points from your Earth Vein from upgrades and everything. So we'll see how this goes. Machman did get CC'd this time. Or rather, feared, which means he can't crit. 
You can still do a lot of damage, but uh, Vulcan's the main one that's going to clean up here. So let's see how far we can take this. All right, keep going on all these nodes. Eventually, we're going to have to take, I think, the damage reduction and block node off because I think it'll be too much. But I think we can still get to 900 points on this battle. Again, it really sucks that Machman gets CC'd back there. Ah, uh, Doom Terror Vulcan getting stunned as well feels really bad. And you can see he still does a ton of damage, but when, uh, yeah, when, when you're dealing with the issue of being feared, it kind of sucks. I wonder if we should run control immunity on him as well. Like, cause if we have control immunity on him, that could be better. Ooh, actually, we can upgrade all these right real quick. Get that going. Um, so yeah. Hmm. Instead of precision, we could run that to give him a little bit extra control immunity between Lord of Fear Aspen. And maybe that helps us out. Because again, that's like the most important part is just making sure both of them don't get CC'd. If they get CC'd, well, that's kind of like a wasted attempt. That was good. He didn't get CC'd that time. Don't have to worry about the boss hit. Ah, Doom Terminator Vulcan did get CC'd, man. But Machman doing some damage here. Isla Mach doing some damage. We're probably going to die though, right? There's no way we don't die here. Yeah. Uh, so in reality, what we could do as well, but really go all in on this. Um, get rid of the precision here. And again, go control immunity just so that we have more attempts that are going to work out in our favor. Because like I said, if we just don't get CC'd, we pretty much win. We need both of them kind of not to get CC to go to the really high levels. He did. I mean, it's more important that the Vulcan does not get CC. If Vulcan gets stunned, then we're in a bad situation. So he didn't get to. Boom. Yeah, see, the block and everything is really annoying. I'll show you the one that's the issue, basically. It's this one right here, I believe, right? Yeah, because this adds damage reduction and block. That's the one I really don't want upgrading. And then you see, you take it off and you basically just like continue to scale up all your other stuff. So if we can get all these up to max, not do that one at all. I think what that means is we can make it very high up. Maybe all the way up. Might take a couple tries. We should be able to keep pushing this though. We should be able to. We have in the past. We've definitely pushed it further in the past. Might just come down to that RNG that we need, though. Like, that was perfect right there for Machman. Don't get CC'd. They don't have block chance. They don't have... Oh. And that's what's happening here. Is our Doom Terminator Vulcan is just getting CC'd every single time. And then by the time he gets to do his active in round two, he doesn't because he's dead. Uh, so it's just an RNG fest. Can we not get CC'd? If we can't, then that is amazing. I'd rather the Machman get CC'd than the Vulcan, though. But both happened. <laughs> when both happens, yeah, we're in a bad, bad situation. We even have Lord of Fear Aspen's core going here, which is the one that, you know, increases our crowd or crowd control immunity or cc immunity please please boss please boss just don't just don't stun my vulcan there we go here we go this one we could get a clear right here oh wait where'd our vulcan go no <laughs> he's getting his butt kicked left right and center maybe we should actually run damage reduction on him if we need that extra hit Because on top of that, we're running the Aspen Core, which means for every enemy that gets feared, we do... Well, there we go. We get uh, additional attack on them, too. So really, the only node we need to upgrade at this point is just pushing this one all the way to the max. And I think we can get to 900 with this. I think we might have to give a little bit of damage reduction and block to the enemy team. But if we can get a ton of points here, then it is perfect. Uh, I'm int I'm interested to see what other balance changes we have coming with this event too, because supposedly there's balance changes with the actual battle itself. So we'll have to see how the force ward goes. <sighs> so that's the bad part: is the Mockman going before? Because there's a chance that we get like some reflect damage or something. We're gonna put him slower again. 
That way our Vulcan does get to attack first. I think that might be part of it. We need to make sure the Vulcan attacks. The Mockman is just bonus damage. Kind of sucks if one of them kills the other, though. Man. CC just means instant loss here, and it feels so, so bad. I want to get this one up to 900. We got to push this as far as possible on day one. It is literally the most important thing for your point totals. Oh, that was a really bad active by Vulcan, though. That's the thing, though. I really don't like Vulcan round one active in that situation. Like, before Mockman. Oh, it just depends on how many layers he gets of his attacks. Vulcan is not an amazing round one active hero, honestly. Round two is his sweet spot. But uh, we can still make this work, maybe. Boss, don't CC him. You CC'd him. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Um, I don't know. I do think having Mockman attack first is the better play, though. Oh, geez, even he got feared. That was horrible. Yeah, I mean, I think what we do need to do is just keep him as the faster one. Honestly, I think we just need to try to high roll. As, well, I don't know. We, we can try him as is. Oh, this is always a struggle. We have three more attempts right now. We could buy more. And for us, someone who's trying to push high on the leaderboard... It might be worth buying those extra attempts and then just seeing if we can smash it out. But you guys know what happens. Both of them need to not be CC'd and then we need them both to live through their actives in round one. If they don't, we essentially lose. So let's just try smashing this out because we know exactly how this needs to go. We just need it to happen. So we'll do the 20 extra attempts for a thousand gems a day right now just because we need the RNG to line up. And it might take a lot of attempts for us to get this to go. But if we can get it to go, then it's really, really good for us. This doesn't seem to be doing good. So we could try taking you out and putting Vesa in. I don't know if that really changes anything, though. I should probably change Queen back to a crown as well. This one's always a tough battle because of that fear effect. And yeah, see... Having our Vulcan go down just feels so, so bad. So maybe what we even have to do on Vulcan is instead of the troll mutant, we need to run some damage reduction. Let's go back to queen now. We can just put her back to a crown. Maybe that lets her live a little bit better. Actually, if we're doing that, I kind of want to put you back in. Could work. It could work. Don't think it's gonna make her much tankier though honestly the counterattack is interesting doesn't really do much though give some people some additional shields but yeah if we're, if we're still getting cc'd that's the main issue but let's see if we can smash this out maybe we can find a way to get a victory here seven more attempts okay we did get the victory finally and then same exact thing so we can get up to 800 points potentially but again, it's just going to take RNG and I, oh, we actually hit it. Oh my goodness. So we did get to the 800 point mark. Um, I'm just going to do something real quick. I just want to unlock the last thing here just in case we want to try to push higher. Like literally the only other thing we can do is this, but I'm going to show you guys, this is not very possible because they have so much damage reduction and block chance. It's not even funny. Yeah, uh, we got CC'd anyway. Like, our damage just is so piddly. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. But we did what we needed to do. We need to push pretty much as far as we can. This is the must-do for day one. Get as far progression as you can in this Force War. Yeah, we got CC'd again. Yeah, it's the CC that is just absolutely brutal. But now we can go up to the system here. We get a lot of these blueprints. That's the biggest part of this is the blueprint part because what that's going to do 
is that's going to let us upgrade so, so far on our Earth Vein on day one. You can see we instantly are going up way up to level 10. That is a lot more brick and everything construction. Uh, we already claimed all these out and then we can just donate and that puts us at uh, rank one. Yeah, rank one, 35, 789. What's this at top, top 10? Uh, some of these, oh my gosh, some of these other people pushing really, really far. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what other changes happen, mainly in the Force War, Force Rival. That's what I'm worried about. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how far you guys can make it in Lair Expedition on your accounts. And I'll see you guys next time.